out here on the Chesapeake Bay today, uh, checking some poles right now to look for some cobias. It's uh, late September. Uh, trying to catch these fish moving out of the bay. Should be a fun day. It's a pretty day right before the hurricane comes in. So try to get fishing in while we can. That's a pile of them on there. See how far off the pole they are? There's about 15 of them on stop, there. Stop, Get them, Caleb. Caleb got one. I know, hold them. Well, don't cross them, don't cross them. You good? That's a nice one you got. I got a nice one, baby. <laughs> oh, God. We got two nice ones right here, Caleb. George, George got a nice one. That's a big one, Jordan. Get the rod, yep. get the rod. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, he's not done. He's not done. Come in, swing that one in. Yep, got it. Alright, you kind of You going? Okay. Perfect. Good work. Alrighty, nice fish. Nice fish for sure. So you got lucky, put up on a pile and had a pair on them. Yeah, midday fishing out here on the bridge tunnel. We had one in the boat so far and we had a couple that we just couldn't get in the boat and pulled up on this piling. It had like seven or eight fish on it and Caleb ended up hooking up this first really nice fish, handing it off to me and Robbie ended up getting the second one up top. We ended up getting the third, but it was small. So we let that one go to live another day, but we got two in the boat so far, three nice ones so far today. Hopefully we get on a couple more big ones before the day's over, but let's get back out there. The fish have popped back up on this pole that we didn't get. So it looks like we're about to get a second chance at these fish. We're using Shimano Terramars, we're using Saragosas, and we're using Twin Powers, and they've been doing the work for us today on the bridge tunnel, getting these fish off the piling. So let's get back on them. Oh, that was so much fun. We had some crazy stuff going on. We had three fish on at the same time. We had lines going everywhere. Camera batty ended up dying mid fight right there. So we ended up switching cameras. There was a lot going on, but we ended up getting everything in the boat. We landed all these fish. We didn't lose a fish and we got more on the pilings right now. So the day's just getting started. Hopefully we're going to get on a couple really nice fish still before the day's over. And we still got some drum fishing to do. So it's a great day on the water. It's late September. You can't beat conditions like this. Let's go get some more fish. All right, hurry up, get up front. So we got another fish right here and another one on the next pole. We just caught two really nice fish and I'm going to throw this little whopper plopper here. Try and see if we can get them on this. Spice things up a little bit. We got a fish right here on the edge of this piling. Oh yeah, he's tucked up against that thing. Crank, 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 Slow. He didn't even see it. You gotta get him more in front of that pole, because I mean, you get it too tight, it runs against the particle, you're done. He's after it, he's after it. Twitch, 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 twitch. Get, get him, get him! Ah! <laughs> that was so crazy. Oh, he's not stoked on that, but I'm stoked on that. A little rat right on the piling. Really smoked that whopper plopper. I got one. Oh, probably oh, got one too. Flip it up there. Woo! Was that the one that we were seeing? Yeah, it popped up on this end pole. There he is. Oh, that's why he was fighting me so weird. It pulled out. He pulled out and I got him in the back. He ate it. Alrighty. Nothing, nothing too big, but got him on a whopper plopper, so that's always fun time. Just switching up baits here as we caught some nice fish so far during the day. But we're gonna get back on the hunt on the bridge, hopefully get some more big fish, but this one sure was a fun fight. Ended up foul hooking the little guy, but we're gonna let him go now to get bigger and hopefully come back to us another day. All right, we got another one. Okay, can I walk right, We got like 15 again? of them. Yeah, there, there's like 15 of them in here. That's that same squad. Caleb. I want to take a video. Caleb, it's covered up. Look at them hold up in there, dude. Woo. There's at least 20 on this one. Wow. They're That's on right. both sides of the pole. Hey, give me that other rock, please. Hold on, just hold on. Caleb, trust me. Okay, wow. I know you want that really big See one. That? Just wait, 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 wait. Throw it up the front. No, no, I wouldn't throw uh, I don't know, dude. I'd throw it on the back side and make him turn around. Oh, uh, too far, too far, too far. Crank, 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 crank. Crank, 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 crank. Alright, throw it in there. Alright, hold on, Rob. I need you to back up hard. Alright, uh, hold on, no, no, no. Hold on. I'm not moving. 
No, they're all on yours. I ain't seen them pop back up. That's a nice one. I got it, I got it. Just give me a second. Ready? Yep, yep, yep. You gotta pull them up for me. Mm -hmm. Backwards. Another nice fish for Caleb. <laughs> there we go. He smoked that one off the piling. Yeah, right in the top corner of the mouth. Hooked him perfect. Whew, another nice fish. Third really nice fish of the day here. Caleb has been killing them. We're gonna keep finding these fish though. They've been stacked up on pretty much every piling set we've visited. Uh, the sun's just now getting real high in the day, so. We're getting them. If we can just, if I can just get myself together. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just caught another nice one, 48 incher. Uh, probably fifth or sixth one of the day. Ended up being a pretty one. Man, another one. I have all over me. You got the big one, Caleb. All right, we go around. Go around, Jordan. Watch it, get it. I couldn't get around him. I got it. Hey. Woo! Oh, there we go. Another one. Ten. One after another. They keep going down. I'm gonna get back on the poles. Hopefully get on another nice fish. We've got some line baits. We've got Z-mans. We've gotten every single type of bait right now. Caught one on a whopper plopper. Uh, Every pole we're just going to keep knocking up. them away until we go set up on the islands towards the end of the day for these drum, but we're going to keep getting them, keep getting them in the boat. Let's go get some more cool bites. Woo! There we go. All right, so Jordan, we just spotted a fish right here on this pole. Um, he's about to throw on it right here. It's on that middle pole. Not real. Crank, 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 crank. Stop. Get him. There you go. Nice job, Jordan. Nice fish. Nice fish. I'm not completely incompetent at this. That's a twin power, too. Yeah, nice new twin power. Fight him on that side, yep. Walk down. This thing feels incredible, though. Twin power is super smooth. Got yeah. Drag on it. it feels really smooth. You good? Yeah, I got it. Finally got a fish on a live bait. I've been kind of struggle busting on my own accord today, but finally got a decent little fish here. Hopefully we see a few more. Yep. Woo! There we go. All right, we've had a really good day on the water so far. It's probably like two o'clock now. We've been catching these Kobe on the bridge tunnel all day long. Uh, Caleb has gotten some really nice fish. Robbie's gotten some nice fish. I've gotten on a few, but this is probably one of my better ones of the day so far. Caught him on a nice spot. Just pitched it right at him on the pilings. He was sitting in the middle piling set and all alone this time, but got him in the boat. We're gonna let him back out there and hopefully get on a couple more nice fish. We're gonna finish the day off fishing for these big red drum on the islands, bottom fishing. Should be a great time. We're having an awesome time on the water out here. It's, it's late September and it's, it's a beautiful day. I couldn't ask for better conditions. We're gonna let this guy go and get back out there back to live another day but we're gonna get back on the bridge tunnel we got more people in the distance here still catching cobias we are commercial fishing right now so we are able to keep a couple fish in the box but the season is closed as of september 15th so robbie here at real release is also a commercial fisherman but normally after september 15th you are not allowed to keep these fish but it's still a great time to come out here and experience fishing in virginia the cobia bite is exceptional it'll probably keep being good the rest of the month and er into early october uh, there's a lot of species out here though. We've been seeing some mackerel around, some sheep's head. Uh, there's also big red drum out here. So hopefully we're gonna experience that here in a bit, but happy to get lines back in the water here in a moment. Let's get after it. 
We've caught so many, I'm trying to switch it up, but we might just stay here with using these live spot and. He's gonna come back up. All right, we'll just stop throwing, wait for him to soak up. Hold on, you wanna throw a live bait in there, Jordan. Do not throw that bucktail. I think that's a nice one. All right, yeah, there's a nice one in there, Jordan. Jordan, 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 Jordan. I don't have there's a bucktail. three of them in there. I don't have a live bait. I know. <laughs> throw it, Jordan, jig. Get, get him, get him! There you go. That's a nice one. No. That was a cool bite. I walked in the back. Yep. That was pretty neat. Ready? All right. Pretty work. Okay. Well, we're nearing the end of the day here. We haven't gone and done any drum fishing yet. And at this rate, we might not. Uh, we've just been really slamming these cobias on the bridge pilings. This time of year, they're all stacked up on the bridge pilings, ready to leave the bay as they migrate south. And Caleb and I on the bow of the boat just end up seeing two nice fish. And I threw a bucktail, Caleb threw a live bait, and uh, ended up pulling his live spot out of the way because he was trying to avoid the fish that this one is. And I ended up getting a nice bucktail bite. It was a pretty cool eat. He jumped around a little bit, gave us a little bit of a show, and. We got him in the boat. We've just been nailing him all day. Let this guy go and hopefully get on a couple more before the day's over. So it's the end of the day here. We're setting out to try and catch some red drum, but we've also got a shark rod out here. And we're running Shimano Travala jigging rods, and we're also running the Talavera boat rods with Speedmaster 16s. Hopefully we get on some fish. We wanna just end the day with a couple nice drum, and if we can get a really big shark, that'd be a really cool fight. I've never caught a big shark before, so it should be pretty interesting. But we're here, we're in the right spot. We got good conditions now. It's a matter of just if the fish bite. So hopefully we can end the day off with a with a really good note. And then get him, drum. Yep. Put the drag up a little bit. Push the drag up a little bit. Push it up. There you go. There you go. Perfect. All right, walk back here. Walk to the side. I'm walking over here. I gotta pull the clicker off. Yeah, that's where I had it. Where's the clip? I didn't know what I had it set to. Ah, end of the day here. We are on the, the third island on the seaside. And we just set out our spread. We had six rods out and pretty quickly, we've got what we think is a nice red drum here on the Shimano Travala jigging rod and a Speedmaster 16. So far, it's it's giving me a lot of fight. It's a really fun fight right now. This is super easy to do, especially this time of year. These big drums seem to just bite in the evenings out here. Just fish finder rigs. I'm getting simple. bit right now. I'm getting oh, bit right now. Probably about to get bit. Probably about to come tight. Nice drum. Go. There we go. Grinding the rod holder. That didn't take long. We haven't even got the fourth rod out. Yeah, we didn't even get the fourth rod out. Boom, there's some fish. You guys like to come fishing with me, give me a call. I'd love to get you out here. Speedmasters. Good God, look at that bend. He's, he's down there, he's digging pretty good. Nice sized fish. Definitely wouldn't be able to do it without these rods, the 80 to 200 pound class jigging rods. Here he is right here. Nice cobia. Big oh, wow. cobia. Big cobia on the bottom. What a way. On the bottom. Wow, that is crazy. Already. That's a big Woo! one too. That's a big one. Wow, that is a nice fish, man. That, that is something else. That is a really nice fish. Look at that thing. Oh, 
It's not badass. You like it? It's got a bunch of background to it, dude. Yeah. So you told me about bin. That's a bin. That's a bin. It's a jumbo. We don't ever get the final. day on the water today with Captain Robbie and with Caleb. We all ended up getting on a super solid class of fish and Caleb ended the day with a bang with that really nice cobia. If you want to come out on the water and experience fishing in Virginia Beach, make sure to book a trip with Captain Robbie. He's treated us so well. We've ended up getting a ton of fish this season with him. So make sure to check him out at Real Release Sport Fishing Virginia Beach.com. If you're interested in seeing more from Oceans East, Make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our socials. And if you want to see more about the tackle that we use in today's video, make sure to stop into one of our locations or check us out online at fishoceanseast.com and get rigged up for your next day on the water. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.